We have one more person to bring out tonight. One final act before the interval. And, and this gentleman has literally written the book when it comes to comedy magic. And when I say written the book, I mean it. He is a published author. I think he's written about 20 or 30 books at this point. Uh, he's, uh, he's lectured around the world. He's released best-selling products to the magic community. Uh, he's considered one of the funniest magicians in the world. He has come all the way from Newmarket to be, with her, here, uh, to be here with us today. I am so glad he gave up his time to come and perform for you because he is hilarious, he is fantastic. What an amazing way to close out the first half. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of age, all ages, please put your hands together and give it up for Wayne Goodman! <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Can you hear me? Yay. Hello. How are we doing? Yay. Oh, yay. <laughs> um, my name's Wayne. I'm going to do a couple of tricks up here for you tonight. And I can't see a thing. If I suddenly fall down onto the floor here, you do have my permission to laugh. Oh, there we go. Yay. I can say you can laugh at me if you'd like. Um, I'm going to do two very quick tricks for you. And uh, one of them's going to be a little bit longer than the other one. Uh, but before I do that, can we all do this? Can everyone put their hands up in the air like this? Okay, this is position one. When you're in position one, can you look up? Beautiful. Position two, put your hands down by your side. When your hands are down by your side, look down. Now put your hands back out in front of you like this. Now, oh, in a second, when I go go, I want you to go up to one and look up, and then go down to two and look down, and repeat that five times. Ready? Go! And say, we're not worthy. <laughs> not going to lie to you, that's more for my ego than anything else. Uh, I'm going to pick someone to help me here, and I'm going to choose, let's have a look, let's have a look. Uh, I'm going to choose this young lady here. What's your name, madam? Sheila. Sheila. Hello, Sheila. Have we met before? Tinder? <laughs> I was on Tinder. I got left swipe so quickly I got whiplash. <laughs> um, no, my last girlfriend said if I really loved her, I'd go out with someone else. So, oh, um, bless. Who, who did the superhero? I like the superhero. That was cool, wasn't it? That was a superhero trick. My, my favourite superhero is Spider-Man. We used to call my granddad Spider-Man. Yeah, he didn't have any special powers, but he couldn't get out of the bath. So, um, <laughs> true story, true story. Uh, hi, Sheila. Sorry, I will come back to you in a second. Sheila, uh, I want you to help me out here. I've got a pack of cards. Can everyone see the cards? Yeah. I'm going to come into the dark for a second because I'm going to have Sheila pick a card. Sheila, I want you to take a card. When well, you've got the card, hold it up against your self. And <laughs> uh, I won't put it there, I promise. And uh, then uh, don't, don't tell me what the card is, okay? I will give the cards one very quick shuffle. And we, there we go. So I'm going to come down to here, and uh, all I want to do, yeah, all I want to do is just say stop. Take that card there, don't let me see it. I wouldn't say, so all the cards are different, okay? And I'm going to drop these in here, and they are gone. Now, what I've also got in here is three very, very big cards. And I'm going to show you these cards now. And when I show you the cards, hopefully, Sheila, one of these cards will match the card you just chose. Okay, and then if it does, I will say to you, Sheila, does your card match one of these cards? And in a nice, clear voice, or one matching your own, I would just like you to say yes or no. Okay, but not until I ask you. So the three cards I've got here are the Queen of Clubs, or obviously the Ace of Spades, and the King of Hearts. Does one of these cards match the card that you chose? Yes. Thank you! Thank you! And that's it for me. Enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you. What? You're all looking at me like, uh, you, wow, wow. If you could see your faces, if I could see your faces. Look at that. Um, you're not impressed. Three cards, 52 cards down to three. And, oh, no, it's, oh, we've got to be better than that. Okay, we'll try again. Uh, I think I'll illuminate one of the cards, Sheila. And do you know what? The Ace of Spades is the most chosen card of any card. The Ace of Spades is the most common card. So I'm actually going to get rid of that card. And that leaves me with the Queen of Clubs and the King of Hearts. Sheila, is your card still one of these two cards? Yes. Thank you! Woo! Woo! Yes. Yay! Okay. 52 cards down to two, and you're still not impressed. Sheila, we've got to do something big here. We've got to do something. I need to stick this out here. We've got to do something big here, Sheila. Uh, and I think the only way we're going to do this, the only way, uh, are these two cards, I need to know which one you chose. So in a nice, clear voice, to every single person here, 
I want you to tell me which card you chose, the Queen of Clubs or the King of Hearts, and I'll prove that I knew it. Which one did you choose? King of Hearts. And that's why I put it on the front. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, what does this bloke do when he's not a male model? Well, let me show you. No laugh there, please. Let me show you. I know you're thinking, you're thinking that if you'd have picked the Queen of Clubs and not the King of Hearts, I would have shown you the card behind. But that wouldn't have worked because, you see, that's also the King of Hearts. And that Ace of Spades that I had over here, well, that wasn't Ace of Spades either because that was also the King of Hearts, meaning I really did know which card you were going to choose. Thank you very much. Do you know, it's very nerve-wracking when you come and do a show like this, and uh, you tell I'm quite nervous. Uh, but I was, I was looking forward to that. I've been, I've been waiting for this tonight for a long time. I'm very excited. I've got my family in the audience. And, uh, and, I've, and it's really nice to be up in this part of the country. I don't get up here very often. And my daughter, uh, she's 14. It's a weird name, but I like it. And I was going to call her Nan. I thought she'd grow into it, you know. <laughs> she got me this. She got me this. What do you think? Hopefully you can read it. If I open this up, what do you think? Isn't that sweet? Oh, I love looking at it, to be honest with you. Oh. I love wearing that in Tesco's. People go, oh, ooh. Uh, I want to I wanna do a trick, ladies and gentlemen, and this is going to take a few minutes. Uh, oh, actually, before that, I was gonna do, I'm going to do this one uh, very, very quick. It's one of my favourite tricks uh, of all, and it's very, very simple. Um, some people said to me, well, I had a friend of mine say to me, is this an optical illusion? And I'd say, no, it just looks like one. But, <laughs> honestly, that is the biggest laugh I've ever got for that joke. <laughs> never gets a laugh, never gets a laugh. Okay, check this out. Hello, sir, hello, sir, what's your name, sir? Tony. Tony, yeah, I'm, I've not got a wonky eye. I was looking right at you, Tony. And is this your good lady here, Tony? Uh, uh, yes. Yeah, oh, oh, okay. Oh, should I go over this side, Tony? <laughs> What's your name, Adam? What's your name? Sarah. Sarah. Hi, Sarah. And how long have you been together? Or is it a first date that's gone really wide way, did it? <laughs> Six years. Six years, okay. And where are you from, Sarah? Where are you from? Rocky. Is that around here? Yeah, well, yeah. Ah, okay, cool, cool. Because I've got friends with me, like in Cannock and stuff. But I, I heard they did a survey. They did a survey in this whole area, and they found that 80% of females who live in this area cheat on their partners. And the other 20% got a letter from the government. Do you know what it said? No? There you go then. So! <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm joking, it was 75%. So, I do a whole show based on optical illusions. I love optical illusions. I've actually got, impossibly, I have some physical optical illusions. So I've got an arrow that always points one way. Uh, when you look at it and you turn it around, it always points in the same direction. I've got, uh, I've got a few really, really weird ones. I love them. I, I love them all. This is my favourite one. It uses two pieces of rope. And I bend the ropes over at the end on purpose because I want to create the illusion. Can everyone see this piece of rope? Yeah. Can everyone see this piece of rope? Yeah. Now, you can see they're both approximately the same length. Uh, and, and they bend over like that. Now, if I was to place this one here and this one here like this, you could be forgiven for thinking that this is a small piece of rope and that is a long piece of rope. Can you see that? Yeah. Uh, you know it's not. So it's a bit harder to see. But you could be forgiven for imagining that this was a small piece here and this was a long piece here. And if you can imagine what that would look like, I think that would be really incredible wow. and something you can see. <laughs> uh, of course it's impossible. Of course, that's not possible. It is an optical illusion. It is not what you see, but what you think you see. Because from the very beginning, this was just two pieces of rope, uh, both approximately exactly the same size. Yeah. I'm going to pull this back. I've got one last trick to show you, and this is going to take a few minutes to do. Uh, I do need to set something up here. Uh, I need to get somebody to come up and help me, and I'd like someone who's very brave. So, okay, the young man in the red T-shirt. Do you want to come and help? I'll be coming. Give this young man a big round of applause. Okay, as he's coming up, I'm just going to put some bags down here. Okay. What's your name? Harvey. Harvey. I've had your Bristol cream. Very nice. 
I told a joke backstage and they said, no one will get this joke. No one will get it. Don't do it. It's not funny. Do you want to hear it? Yeah. Yeah. Of course you do. <laughs> it's a terrible joke. Do you want to hear it? Yeah. Okay. The joke is, the joke is, my granddad, this is actually true, my, my, my grandparents, their names were actually Pearl and Dean. Ooh. We didn't call them that. We called them Grandma and Grandpa. Pa, 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 <laughs> That's awful. Take that from me. Uh, this is a laundry basket. It's nothing special. Uh, it all comes to pieces. Uh, we're going to use that in a second. In fact, do you want to have a little look at that? Check it out. Get in it if you want. <laughs> I knew you'd try. Reach inside, make sure there's nothing in there. I've also got a dice here. Uh, I'd like you to take this to these ladies down the front here, or if you don't like them, you can go to them. If he doesn't go there now, that will be hilarious. Um, this is a dice. Now, funny thing about dice, the opposite, if you don't know this, the opposite sides of dice add up to seven. So the one and the six, the two and the five, and, and the three and the four. Would you take that round, get a couple of people to check it. If you've got space by on the, the people on the front here, not there, because it might go under the chairs and stuff, could you just roll it a couple of times and make sure, and take it in that if you want to actually, put it in there, roll it around in there as well, and make sure that a different number comes up every single time. Now while you're doing that, I'm going to do the stuff I should have done earlier on. When I, <laughs> when I was too busy eating the sandwiches and drinking the drinks and mucking about out the back. Uh, I've got six cars here. I, I, I'm only joking, I'll do this at the final time. I'm going to write one to six on these. So we've got number one. Look at this. Who said I failed maths? I, 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 uh, I was never any good at that. I was always told there were three kinds of people. Those that are good at maths and those that aren't. <laughs> he just went, I'm one of the ones that aren't good at maths. No, oh, you are? Then you would have realised I did three people and I needed two examples. Don't worry about that. Now, we've got a number six. Hold that up for me. We have a number four. Oh, a number one. Take that one for me. We have a number two. We have... <laughs> You're the one with the laugh then, are you? Okay, the four and the five. Take, take those. How old are you? Ten. Ten. You had to think about that, didn't you? There we go. Mix them up. How many girlfriends you got? None. Nine. That's a lot, isn't it? No. <laughs> no, nine, zero. That's it. Oh, none. Your girlfriend is a nun. That's really weird. <laughs> mix them up, Harvey. Mix them up. Uh, let me take this up here. I'm just going to... I don't want to kick it over because I will because I'm clumsy. Okay. Uh, Harvey, what I'd like to do is take those numbers, take all of them, and drop them. Uh, so can I just take the first one? Okay. Uh, give me the one that you want me to put on the first one. So just give me one. Any one you want. Okay. Just take it and then place it on top... Uh, of the bag there where it can be seen. So do you want to do the others for me? And make sure they're all mixed up. You can shuffle them again in your hands. If you want. That's fine. If it's near it, it's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. This is what we're going to do. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a very dangerous trick. Ooh. Yeah. Put my life on the line for your entertainment pleasure. Ooh. Wow. Inside each of these bags is a water pistol. Can I book him to come to all my parties? I might as well. No, might as well. I've got nothing better to do. Only five of the water pistols are empty. One of the water pistols has water in it. Shake that up and choose a number. You know, that's enough, that's enough. We just got to, there we go. Three. Right, that's bag number three. Pick up number. No, no, just, just pull that forward. Pull it forward, the whole thing. You can give me the number if you want to, because we're not going to use that again. And uh, shake it up again. Okay, that's enough, that's fine. Three again. Hold on, let's give it a shake there. One. Okay, where's number one? There we go. Okay, so, uh, pass me the number. I've got these in here. Now, there's two bags here, Harvey. You can choose which one I have and which one you have. That's a fair... Who's having that one? Okay, all right. Right, this is what you do. Come forward. Open the bag. 
Take out the water pistol, but do not touch the trigger. Okay, so bring it out. Give me the bag, pass the bag up, please. Okay, I'm going to throw that over there. Okay, point the water pistol at me, and only at me. Do not touch the trigger. Finger off the trigger. Thank you. Okay. We're going to count down. Everyone's going to count with me. Three. Three. One. Pull the trigger. Ooh. We get to go to round two. Ah, round two's a little bit different. Okay, here we go. Right, let's give them a shake up. We'll do it quite quickly. Otherwise, we'll be here all night. So there's a three again. Hold on. One again. Hold on. Six. Grab number six. I think that's over here. That's it. Just boy. Come over here. There we go. And we'll shake it up again. Three. Yeah, have a look here. Five. There's number five. Okay, pass me the, pass me the number. Okay, choose which one I'm having, which one you're having. Is this mine? Okay, we do this one a bit different, Harvey. Take the water pistol out of the bag. Do not touch the trigger. Pass me the bag. Okay, very carefully go down the steps, Harvey. Very carefully go down the steps. Okay, Harvey. I want you to point that water pistol at somebody in the audience. Are you ready? Someone you don't like. Oh, here we go. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Pull the trigger. Ooh. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Are you sure? Hold on. Nah, that's no fun. Come up here, Harvey. Right. There's two left. Number four and number two. We we'll shake it up. Okay, two. I'm going to give you a free shot, Harvey. Give me the number. Take out the force pistol. I'm going to give you a free shot. Whatever's left is mine. Take out the water pistol. You got it? Point it at me. Point it right in my face. Okay, don't pull the trigger. Let me just take it off. Are you ready? Everyone count. Three. Two. Uh-oh. <laughs> Come and stand here, Harvey. <laughs> Five bags down. Five water pistols with no water in. Maybe I forgot to put water in the last one. I didn't. <laughs> Five chances, Harvey, to shoot me. But let's find out. Let's find out, Harvey. If this is the one, let's find out if this is the gun. <laughs> let's find out if this is the <laughs> gun. I'm not going to lie, this is my favourite part of the show. Hands by, come down there, Harvey. Hands by, everyone, three, two, Wow! Yeah! Give the big man a clap! See you later, Harvey. Ladies and gentlemen, you've been an absolute pleasure. I, I have come up from. I have to come up from. Yeah! Uh, it's quite a distance, and uh, I'm, off to, I'm off to Kent, actually, as soon as I finish, uh, me and my daughter are off to Kent, because uh, I'm performing there tomorrow, not in this suit now. Uh, <laughs> uh, but can I say that of all the audiences I've ever had, you have definitely been the most recent. Um, <laughs> all your laughter and all your applause has been recorded on my phone, in my box, and will be sent to less fortunate magicians, so... <laughs> Thank you for that. It's been a great cause. Uh, my name is Wayne Goodman. Have a lovely evening. Good night. Good night.